Not too bad. 161.4. Oh my god, I need to sort this out. Still a little bit behind, actually, that. We're meant to be 100 in the 160 rather than 161s. One, but I can cope with it. So this has been me all morning. We are currently uploading a IGTV video. If you are wondering how I do that, I actually do it through my laptop if it's an IGTV video. That is basically the best way to do it, the best way to get the highest quality. Whereas if you take it from your phone, to, from your laptop to your phone, and then from your phone to Instagram, it does upload it, but Instagram reduces the file size. So try, if you can, store it on this kind of stuff, on hard drives and all that, and go straight from there. So I actually put my Glow, which is the latest one that I uploaded on there. Go and check it out, at Media by LSJ. We've run out of orange juice to go with my breakfast. So I'm having my Peach Glow a little early today. We've got Golden Syrup, my protein, LSJ at checkout. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we're going to train. I'm going to let this go down, do a bit more work. Fantastic day so far. Drop this video a like if you're excited, people. And let's I get it a going. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. I'm coming in here. I've got some gains to make, pup. I've got some gains to make. You, you, you want, you want to stay in here for a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Since you are so nicely. Okay. Girl. So, today is not actually going to be like a mad, super mad session, purely because, um, it's just going to be getting a bit of an upper body pump, really. You guys know the situation with the knee right now. I can't really be loading, you know, I can't be doing standing shoulder press and putting a bunch of friggin' 80 kilo extra weight onto the, the joint right now. Um, it's only temporary, it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. But we're going to be getting a pump. We're going to be showing you a little bit of a physique update today. What exercises am I going to do, you say? I have absolutely no idea. I'm really, really missing like my walks and everything like that. Obviously, I can't go on my evening walks because my knee is messed up. Um, but don't worry, we've got everything in place to make it better over time and uh, bigger, better, stronger than ever before. It's just going to take a little while to get there. But we're still going to smash it. I'm really quite sad about it. But anyway, it's going to be a good session. It's going to be good. Positive vibes. Come on. Her paws a little bit better by the way guys. It's not better, but it is better than it was. We're both hop alongs, aren't we Pup? But come on, there you go, come on,
This one too. I forgot this one. Something like that anyway. I think one of the biggest differences right now for me is the definition that has come on in my rear delt. It, there's a real kind of pop there. There's a real separation there between you know, all of the different parts of the delt and stuff. That's really cool because that's something that I wanted ever since I was a kid. Um, and my chest as well. When I'm at a higher body fat percentage, my chest just completely disappears. And now it's, it's all, in, I, I'm not trying to say it's massive or anything, but in comparison to a couple of years ago, there's actually a real big kind of pop and a good separation. And it is about me learning where to push and where to pop my muscles and posing, which is obviously, like posing properly, I mean, it's obviously a lot easier when you are a bit leaner because you can see where, where to kind of emphasize. Whereas if you're a bit higher body fat, you're just kind of going with it and you don't really showcase, not as well as you can do when you are leaner anyway. So that's what I found. And obviously the density, love handles are still there and stuff, but the density in comparison to the start of the diet, just the density and the thickness and the like pure slabbiness of my love handles. Like, they're just so thick and dense, you know, and they're still there, but they're just a lot more wobbly now, which obviously means there's a lot less fat there. So that's kind of nice, but we have a good couple of pounds left to go and a good little, uh, good little pump left in the session. Just going to do a couple more bits. I'm just, just having a bit of a, a bit of a faffy kind of session really, but Sometimes that's the best way, especially when you can't do an awful lot more. Very happy though, very, very happy. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. That's how we're looking. That's a, a pretty solid session, all things considered. Didn't do much, but you know, it, it, it'll do the job for, for today. That is how we are looking at 161.4 pounds. Was it 161.4? You guys will remember better than I will. Anyway, I've been super duper busy, guys. LSJ Media stuff, blowing my mind. Important to note, though, that I would not have that any other way. But, you're probably wondering, oh, you're shaking. I apologize. <laughs> you're probably wondering, some of you may be, some of you may not be, some of you may not give a shit. You're just watching the video because you've got nothing else to do. Either way, I appreciate you. Drop it a like if you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> probably wondering where we are at on the old chart. As you guys know, if you are an online client of mine or if I've done any work with you in the past, if you've bought an OHP plan, anything like that, you will have experience of using the chart, the LSJ weight loss chart or the kind of goals thing, right? So where are we at with that? It's been a little while. We're about three weeks out to the day from when I'm filming this, I think, um, for the summer shredding competition, online competition. I'm rambling enough. I'm going to show you the sheet. So today's date is actually the 23rd of September, which means we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 weeks and two days into it, right? Okay, so we've gone from 171 in this stage on this chart. You guys know how we worked it with this, with this. I shan't go into that. Go check out that video a couple of videos ago if you have any interest in that. Otherwise, let's focus straight in on this, that's not gonna focus, it's too close. Never mind, 160.5 pounds. So, we are not too far behind that, but not exactly where we would like to be, but weight loss is never linear anyway. As long as you are going down overall, over time, if you're going down and then up and then down, you might level off for a bit, and then you go down like this, but then you level off. As long as you are, generally speaking, going down, you're okay. So not too worried about being too far behind that. And actually, I'm going to weigh myself in just a minute uh, and we'll see where we're at. But this is where we are at on the old chart. We have two weeks and then there's just like a few days in between these two dates here. Uh, I'm taking every single second that I have to be as ready as I possibly can be for that summer shredding competition. My entry date will be the 10th of October 2020, which is now just a couple of weeks away. Exciting times. Bosh. Okay, so here we are at the end of the day, 
well, well it's like 7 p.m. now I've had breakfast and I've had lunch 161 pounds as opposed to 161 point uh, four this morning so we're nearly half a pound lighter at the end of the day with two meals and a bunch of liquid in us weight loss is a tricky game people sometimes you just gotta be patient stick with it trust the process and you'll be all right i'm quite happy with that actually that puts us definitely a lot closer to where we actually should be on the chart you know 159 coming soon so today is the 24th of September 2020. It's around about yeah, 10 to 9 in the morning. So I haven't had any water, I haven't had any drink or anything like that right now. Um, but I'm going to weigh myself. I'm doing it again in this video. And I've said the date because I feel like it's going to be something that I want to remember from my weigh in last night. But we shall see. Fingers crossed, drop the drawers. Oh God, oh, maybe it's not Lula wearing. <laughs> oh. <sighs> thought we were gonna hit it, you know. I really, really thought we were gonna enter the 150s. You can't really see that, that says 160.4. I'm gonna try again, because you didn't even freaking see it. Oh my days, people. Oh my days. 160.2 pounds. 160.2 means we are 0.2 pounds off of where we want to be. As long as we're in the 150s, that's all I care about. I will say though, with a couple of weeks left and feeling very depleted, feeling very flat and depleted, you gotta bear in mind I'm not even really training properly right now because of my leg and, you know, losing weight that fast isn't actually that great because it's more than likely gonna be from the areas that we don't want it to be, i.e. the muscle instead of the fat. But this is how we are looking, roughly. I'm just gonna set you up in the middle there. 160 pounds. You can't see shit. Oh, dead chuff with that, to be honest, guys. Um, 160, very, very low 160s. I'm looking at the chart right now. We're supposed to be 160.5 at the kind of minimum um, this week, and that was a couple of days ago. And then by Monday, which is in three, four days' time, um, we are planning to be 160. So I feel like we will be in the 150s. But bearing in mind, it's okay that I am a little bit ahead because this weekend uh, I'm probably gonna have a burger. At some point we're going out for a meal, so I'm probably gonna have a burger this weekend. That'll kind of just be like my little cheat meal type thing. Uh, fuel me back up, ready to start the week again strong. Um, but the focus right now is really just keep doing what we're doing, um, bigger than better than ever before, ever before, just like LSJ Media. But really just focusing on doing absolutely everything that I can. I have actually pulled calories back um, on the basis that I can't exercise as much, I can't train as hard, so I'm not burning as many calories when I'm doing my sessions. I'm missing out on two leg days per week. I usually train legs twice a week. I've done that for over a month now. I also can't go on the spin bike with any kind of intensity. I'm going on it just to keep my knee moving and stuff. Uh, that was actually recommended by the physio and it is really, really helping. Um, I'm gonna pick up a bunch of compression stuff and stuff, uh, things like that in the near future. Um, hopefully that will all kind of, you know, help and we're gonna build bigger, stronger legs than we ever have before. It's really annoying because um, the leanest part of me is actually my legs. My le like my calves are really lean, my quads are actually quite lean. But the thing is, I haven't now trained them for like a month. And so they look like this, flat, you know, they, they look good in my the best that they've ever looked for me anyway. Dead flat when I haven't trained them, I haven't done a single freaking squat, no leg extensions, nothing for a month now. And my legs look like that, you know. Um, and that's 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 really good progress for me. But then at the same time, it's very frustrating because they don't look as good as they could have or should have done in my head, um, because I've not been able to train them properly. But we're going to work on that, and then hey, we'll just have to hope that they look a lot better next year. They don't look bad, you know, but I can't. The wastage in my right leg is just absurd. 
but we'll we'll get over it. We'll figure it out. We'll do something. We'll do whatever we can over the next couple of weeks so that they look as good as they possibly can, ready for the summer shredding competition. Um, but it it will affect the overall look of my physique, which is unfortunate because it will look like I skip legs, and I just don't. Okay, I just don't. I won't lie. I am quite self conscious about it. I've always been quite proud of my legs. I've always had thick, dense, chunky rugby legs. Now the first time that I'm like this lean. Um, they're kind of just disintegrated because I can't train them, but anyway, all part of the journey and we'll uh, improve on it for the future. So, if you have enjoyed this one, <laughs> bit of muck on the lens. Uh, do your boy a favour, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Let me know what you want to see next, full day of eating, business stuff, car stuff coming very, very soon as well. So, drop this one a like if you're excited for all of that stuff too. Really helps out, so please, just take two seconds, it costs you nothing, just, you know, just click it you know just do it with me like scroll down and just like just thank you <laughs> i appreciate it thank you so much for watching like comment share subscribe together we will grow let's keep building our momentum and i will see you in the next one